do you know what's in your credit file? Your credit score is the most important number in your financial life, and in this current economic climate, your credit rating matters more than ever. Lenders look at it when you make an application for a loan, credit card, mortgage, or other type of credit to see how much you already owe, how well you are coping with the payments, and whether you can afford to borrow more. Let's take a look at what makes up your overall credit score. The biggest factor in your credit score is your payment history, and it composes 35% of your total score. The payment history factor is looking to see if you have paid your bills on time in the past and if you are currently behind on any of your bills. The score will calculate the total number of accounts paid on time and the number of accounts past due, with past due accounts being rated by the amount past due, the length of time past due, and how recently it was past due. In some instances, certain late payments can have more of a negative effect than others. For instance, during a mortgage refinance, late payments on your existing mortgage account are significantly worse than late payments on credit cards or installment loans. The most important debt to keep up to date on is your mortgage payment, and it should be a priority before you pay any other debt each month. You should contact your loan service immediately if you feel you cannot make your mortgage payment. Late payments, especially on large loans such as mortgages, make lenders worry that the loan will not be repaid and can cause a large increase in your interest rate, meaning you could be paying much more overall. If you are currently past due on any of your accounts, your first step before you pay the amount owed should be to contact the creditor to verify the actual balance due. This is important because account balances are typically not accurate on your credit file. Because past due balances can have such a big impact on your score, Late payments should be addressed as quickly as possible, and after past due balances have been paid and everything is up to date, you should make every possible effort to make sure all future payments are made on time. The next factor in your credit score is your outstanding debt, or what you still owe on your accounts, and it makes up 30% of your overall score. This factor is based on the amount of available credit you have versus how much you are using and can be broken down into two parts, revolving credit and mortgage and installment loans. Mortgage and installment loans are evaluated based on the difference between the amount of the original loan and the remaining unpaid balance, or how much debt you started with and how much you have left. These loans are typically mortgage or auto loans and have a set monthly payment extending over a finite period of time. The second part of your outstanding debt comes in the form of revolving credit, generally in the form of credit cards. This is known as the Total Revolving Credit Utilization Ratio and is calculated by dividing the total balance owed on all open credit cards by the total credit limits for all open cards. Keeping the balance owed at or below 30% of your credit limit will have the best impact on your score. The next credit score factor, length of credit history, makes up 15% of your credit score. This category looks at how long your accounts have been open and the length of time since the last activity on the account. The longer an account is open, the more it improves your credit history, which is why it is generally advisable not to close old accounts. The difficult part about this factor is that it takes time, and most credit accounts that can help you must be two years old or older. If you have older credit cards that you don't use frequently, try to use them at least once every six months to keep them active by making a small purchase and paying it off. The next factor is type of credit, which makes up about 10% of your score. This means it is beneficial to have a mix of different types of accounts, which might include a mortgage, an auto loan, a couple of major credit cards like Amex or Visa, and one or two department store or gas credit cards. Remember though that this category only makes up 10% of your credit score, so you shouldn't take on more debt than you can handle just to increase credit type diversity. The final factor in your credit score is inquiries, which also makes up about 10% of your overall score. Keep in mind that there are two types of inquiries that appear on your credit report. Inquiries that you authorized for obtaining credit and promotional inquiries. Anytime you apply for a credit card or loan, an inquiry is added to your credit file, and too many inquiries can negatively impact your credit file. Too many recent inquiries indicate to a potential creditor that your debt to income ratio might be much higher than you stated, especially since recent credit lines may not have appeared on your credit report yet. The credit scoring model will look at how many inquiries and how recently they were opened. Credit pulls for mortgage and automobile loans that occur more than 30 days prior to scoring have no effect on the credit score. 
Outside of this 30-day period, mortgage and automobile loan credit pulls that occur within any 14-day period are treated as a single inquiry. Pre-approved credit offers are considered promotional inquiries and will not affect your credit score. To increase your credit score or even to just maintain the score you currently have, it is important to understand how your credit score is calculated. If you want more information about your